Well, that was a fun break from things, but it's time to get back to serious matters. If you can even be serious, that is, Joe. Trust me, Donald, I can be serious. All right, well, it's time to put your helmet on because we are entering the jungles of Vietnam, baby. Oh, Lord. Now, let's get this shit on the road. Wait. What now? Some viewers have been saying our face cam is too big. Tell them they can cry me a river. I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt to just shrink it a little. Fine. There. Is that better now? I guess that works for now. All right, let's get this started then. Those are some tall plants. Forget how tall they are, they can literally walk now. Great, ice flowers for the third world in a row. How creative Nintendo. Look, that tall plant just became small. Evolution is quite a crazy thing, Joe. More one-ups. I swear you get one-ups from that thing at least half the time you hit it. I guess I just attract the extra lives. Well, judging by your gameplay, you're gonna need all the ones you can get. Hey, man, looks like the plants can now shoot spiky balls, too. Damn it, I thought you'd be able to spin on these things. Why would you be able to spin on the piranha plants? I don't know, you can in Mario Maker. Whatever, I'll just go under, I guess. I'll try and do that as well. Just be careful, Joe. Trust me, I will. All righty then. Oh, dang, nab it. Not careful enough, clearly. Looks like the vines are back. I love vine. Sure been a while since I've heard that one. You know I have a really bad joke in my mind right now, but I don't know if I should say it. I think I know what you're referring to. You know what? I'll leave it to the other channels to make that one. Probably a good idea. Oh my, is that a Ferris wheel? I mean, it kind of is, but we have to use our characters to push it forward. Lame. Shit. Damn it, Joe, we can't do this with the two of us on this. Screw this phony Ferris wheel. I'm just going under. I highly doubt that's going to work. You said what now? All right, I'll take the L on that one. That's a first. You know what? Fuck it. Boom, absolute clutch by the Don, right there. Can't even lie, that was pretty impressive, Donald. Oh, I know it was, Joe. Now watch me as I get this last star coin by jumping into the shell here, too. Son of a bitch! No, that one wasn't as impressive. Look who got the top of the flag this time, Donnie. Shut up, Joe. Whatever, you need it more than I do anyway. Just let me have my moment, man. Fine, you know what? I'll even let you pick which level we do next, since it's a split path, I'm pretty sure. Okay, bet. Never mind, looks like we have to fight this bitch. Why can't we just go around? Because there's spike traps, Joe. And who else knows what else those Vietnamese hid? Fair enough, this should probably be easy anyway. Crap! So easy, huh? Give me a break, man. Oh great, more mushrooms. Didn't see that one coming. I guess we can use one here. Let's use one to make this next level easier. All right, speaking of which, what level will we be playing, Joe? The bottom one. And why that one? I like the water. It looks like purple Kool-Aid. It, it kind of does, but make sure not to go into it. It's poisonous. Are you sure? It looks refreshing. Just take my word. Fine. Shit. Fiddlesticks. Damn it, those mushrooms lasted as long as Barack usually does. Damn, that's not very long at all. Yes, Joe, that's the joke. God damn it, I jumped in the middle. How does that hurt me? Hey, at least you got a coin in return. Wow, one singular coin. What a great trade. Seems like a good one to me. Considering you traded a war criminal for a WNBA player, it doesn't shock me that you'd think this was also a good trade. All right, I guess we're going down into this pipe now. Uh, another box. I'm betting that Joe hits it and gets one-ups. One-ups. Oh, look, called it. What do you have against extra lives? Nothing, I just don't need them. Uh-huh. Just let me get the next box. Fine. How does this log float on the water? Well, how does my yacht float on the water, Joe? I don't know. Exactly, it just does somehow. Damn it! You were right, it is poisonous. Crap! Joe, why would you jump onto the block when the thing was obviously going there? I thought it wouldn't. Well, clearly you were wrong. Let me out of the bubble. All right, I got you. Thanks, Donnie. Wait, shit. Nice one there, Joe. Not fair. That one was your fault. How was it my fault? You bounced me into it. You jumped in that direction. Not my fault. Meh. All right, time to pick the box myself this time. Watch greatness. Oh, hell to the yeah. It's Dunny time, motherfuckers. Yeah, eat shit, you daddy long legs looking ass. Now, Joe, that is how you do a mystery box right there. I get it, Don. Oh, and would you look at that? I still get another one up, too. You didn't even take the one up. Yeah, because I don't need it, unlike you. Whatever, man. Holy shit, that's one fast thing? It's going at sonic speed. God damn it! All right, Joe, it's up to you. Just keep going. Got it. I'm gonna wait for you just in case. Come on, Joe, you literally have a power-up. It's not that hard. Fine, guess I'll go. Son of a nutcracker! And you still found a way to die. Guess it's a good thing you waited. All right, Joe, I'll be nice and unbubble you for the end. Okay, now let me find out how to get the top. Joe, what the fuck, dude? Shit, my bad. Last time I'm ever doing you any favors, you asshole. Oh, great. Another tower that yet again has zero elements related to the world we are in. What type of jungle elements could even be in here? I don't know. I guess they could have at least added moss or something on the side to make it look like there was nature. I guess so. Time to go, Mega. Hey, Joe, check this out. Check what out? Oh, what the frick, Donald? That's revenge for the last level, bitch.
After playing it more, I think this left and right concept is actually pretty cool. I agree, it is pretty rad. I think it also gives us an idea of Iggy's political party. How so? The stage moves both left and right, meaning he is neither a true libtard or a true conservative. Instead, he's a member of the Green Party. It would also explain why he is in the jungle world. I don't even think I know a single person in that party. Exactly, Iggy thinks he is special and cool and unique for being in a minority party, while in reality, he just looks like an idiot. Makes sense. Shit, all right, Joe, wait for me. Trust me, Donald, I got this. These usually don't end well. Wait. Damn it, Joe. Why would you bubble? My instinct kicked in. When I bubble, you can't bubble or we'll both lose. I'll try to remember that next time. Please do. You see, Joe, that's how you do it. I see, Donald. Great, Barack's calling again. Remember, Joe, don't bring up the pizza. All right. Hello? Hey, Donald, just wanted to check in one final time and see how things are going for you there. Things are going good here, about to beat this tower level. How's it going with your little frozen yogurt trip? It's going good over here. We all got frozen yogurt. Even Michelle found her healthy options, surprisingly. I gotta say, this yellow frozen yogurt is absolutely delicious, making my leg feel better already. That's not how it works, George. Well, clearly it is. Well, that's good for you, Barack. Look, maybe I was being a bit mean with not letting you guys come with us. Here, if you and Joe want something, I suppose we can bring it back for you. Honestly, I think me and Joe are fine. Wait, really? Yeah, you don't have to get us anything. Wow, I'm genuinely surprised. All right, well, we're finishing things up here, so it seems like we'll be back pretty soon. Down, green party All right, bitch. sounds like a plan. All right, I guess I'll see you when we get back. Sweet Jesus, is that Bill? Oh shit, what's up guys? How are you doing, Bill? Been a minute. Yeah, I've just been enjoying life, man. Just wanted to stop and get some frozen yogurt with my friend here. Friend? Yeah, okay. Dang, nabbit. Oh yeah, I did call Hillary. Okay, uh, anyways, it was nice to see you guys, but I best be heading to get some yogurt now. Huh. Uh, okay then. Also, Bill, feel free to come by my house later to play some Wii with us if you want to. You mean Nintendo? Nah, man, I don't play those kids' games. All right then, I guess I'll see you around then. Sounds good, nice seeing you guys. Son of a bitch. All right, Barack, I gotta go. This lore building is distracting me too much. Okay, I guess I'll see you when we get back then. See you, bye. All right, Joe, focus mode on this next try. Let's beat that son of a bitch, Lemmy. It's Iggy, Joe. Oh yeah, right. What? Boom! Take that, Iggy. Yeah, get that weird green party ass out of here. I like the way you're talking now. There we go. That's half of the world done. You know what we're gonna do now, Joe? What's that? We're gonna continue this episode because screw what Barack says. True, we've only been recording for like 15 minutes anyway. Wait, it's, it's been 15 minutes? Yeah, that's what it says on the thing. That means surely our pizza should be here. Oh yeah, I guess so. Hold on, I'm gonna go check real quick. What about the game? Just hold it down, it'll be quick. Okay. God fucking damn it. What happened? The pizza isn't here yet, what a bunch of liars. Oh well, I can wait. Well I can't, I'm hungry, god damn it. I mean, maybe the numbers were wrong. Here's a math lesson for you, Joe, since you clearly need it. See, look how there's three Koopa Troopas on here. The number on the ship is three. I see that. Now let's do some subtraction here. Look, I throw two Koopas off and now the number is one. Let's throw this last Shit. one off, now it's zero. Damn it, Donald, your math distracted me. Well, Joe, I just had to show you. Numbers don't lie. They say it should be 15 minutes. It should take 15 minutes, damn it. I guess so. See, look, Joe, the ship got five people on it, so it stopped. Numbers don't lie. But there was six people. You know what, just shut up. Donald, help. Great, what now? I got these things stuck on me, it's like a virus. Oh, like the China virus? I thought we were in Vietnam. Hey, close enough. Yeah, I don't know what to do here, it seems like only one viable solution. What's that, vaccine? Hell no, just gotta throw you overboard. Oh, what the heck, Donald, I got a game over. Sorry, Joe, you were holding me back, literally. Oh, great, now the Vietnamese are throwing bombs at us from the sky, too. This must be where Barack got his inspiration from. And would you just look at that? I clutched that level all by myself. Thanks for the help, Sleepy Joe. Hey, stop being so mean, man. Sorry, Joe, I just get more mad when I'm hungry. Of course you do. Oh, okay now, buddy. Don't say I'm mean and then start talking shit like that. Well, Donald, to be honest with you, I'm not happy with the witty remarks you keep making at me. I can't just keep quiet anymore. Looks like you stuttered a bit at the end there. Were you reading that from the teleprompter? I'll have you know I don't use that anymore, just like how you don't use the treadmill. Oh, screw you, Joe. You know what? We're doing the ghost house next. Oh, God, please, no, please don't do the ghost house. Oh, we're doing it all right, trust me. Damn it, the spike traps are in the way. It's your lucky day, buddy. Phew. This propeller box is growing on me. Regular one is still better, though. Wait, crap. Holy shit, Joe, you are such a dumbass. Why would you do that? Donald, it was an accident, I swear. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. You know what, we're doing it, Joe. We can't do it, there's spikes in the way of it. Oh yeah, watch this then. Well, crap. No bubbling, Joe. I'm popping your bubble if you bubble. Fine, idiot. You're paying for new underwear if I soil myself, though. Jesus. I guess we'll try this door right here. No ghosts in sight so far. I don't know, Joe. What's that thing coming from the right right there? Oh, God. Thank God we got through the door. 
What are the things under us? Bonefish, Joe. You've seen them before. It's a ghost, Ron. Come on, Joe. They won't get you as long as you're looking at them. I don't care. Just run as fast as you can. If you say so. See, Joe, that wasn't so bad, was it? I guess so. This door took us back to the beginning. I guess we just have to try and find the right door. Ah. As always, the door to the right is the way to go. Oh, my. It's a, it's a circle of ghosts. I don't know if I can do this, Don. Are you joking? You literally just jumped through them right there. And look, you just got hit by one. Literally nothing bad about it. Oh, shit. You're right. I just did. You see, not that scary at all. You're right. I'm not scared of you ghosts anymore. Take that. Love to see it. Nothing in this door. Oh, shit. Looks like I just found myself a hidden door. Must be something cool in here. The switch makes the light shine. Yeah, I guess we got to ride these to move through this part. Hopefully it's worth it. Jesus, that was a close one. I thought they wouldn't work anymore when the light turned off, but guess not. I wonder where this door will take us. Hopefully to something cool. Huh, the end of the level already? That was the easiest ghost house ever. I don't even know how I was so scared of that. Not gonna lie. All right, well this time we actually have to time our jumps with the circle ghost so we don't die. Crap. Well, looks like it's just me now. Why is the flag a different color on this level? Huh, that's a bit strange. Guess we'll just have to find out. I guess we will. Well, shit. It's the cannon. Let's take it. I don't know about this one, Joe. Oh, come on. They'll be so proud of us reaching whatever world it takes us to. All right, fine. Once again, though, you're taking the blame if they get mad. OK, I will. Here we go off to World 8. Isn't that the final world? No, only the one of the main game. There's a World 9 that George talked about after getting all the star coins. Wait, shit. We needed the star coins. Well, it's a bit too late for that now, isn't it? Yeah, because you said not to, you dumbass. Whatever, maybe we still have time to go back and make progress. Hey, guys, we're back. Shit. I mean, hey, what's up, Brock? Where's George? He's at the front porch with Michelle. There's a Domino's guy here for some reason. Oh, shit, that's my pizza. I gotta go be right back. OK, then. Damn, Joe, you guys made it to the final world? Good shit. Yeah, me and Donald found a cannon that took us all the way here. You found what? A cannon. It took us from World 5 to World 8. God damn it, Joe, let me look at this. All right. So you mean to tell me I spend two hours of my life doing bullshit just for you to not listen to George's number one saying? What does he say? No star coins left behind, damn it. Well, uh, uh, it was all Donald's idea. He put me to this. Of course it was, that jackass. Well, we, do, we can't use any of this. We gotta play a different game. Well, maybe we can play Mario Kart. Why would we play that again? Because Donald got the modded version. He did what? What the actual fuck did Donald do to my Wii? Hey, guys. Me and George are back with the pizza. I'm back, y'all. Donald, you got some damn explaining to do. What? Oh, yeah. I may have homebrewed your Wii to order a pizza and to play modded games, but that's it. Are you sure? Joe is saying you did something else, too. Something that wasted a lot of my time. He said what? Oh, you fucking snake, Joe. Sorry, Don. What the devil are you folks yapping on about now? Nothing. Whatever. I guess we'll play some modded Mario Kart. Oh, hell yeah. What about Mario Bros? That's what I came here for. Well, uh, they want to take a small break from it, George, if that's fine. Fine. But you better not be playing me. All right, I guess Mario Kart is the plan. Hold up, let me eat my pizza first. God damn it. 